Jess with Everyday Science and I am here at Stanley's 2014 Kamikaze Expo. Check it out. It's Molly Faulkner. I'm with Nature Expressions. These are my insects and arachnids. It's my uh, artwork. Um, I specialize in insects and butterflies and arachnids for either television shows or um, students for um, school. So majority of my work is for school. Um, all the cases that I have are all openable so that the kids can take them to school. And um, let me give you an example here. So all the cases, majority of kids actually have a show and tell. From right, right. Either, you know, no matter what age, it's really nice. So it's, it's easy, it doesn't have any scent. I spread them nice and big so that they know this is a rhinoceros beetle from Thailand. It's five horns. And, and where do you find them? This one actually is from Thailand, but when they, are, when they come to me, they're already dead and they're all scrunched together. Sure. Yeah, sure. so you, you know, have different process of uh, opening these up. So this, for example, it's easy. You can just use uh, alcohol and, and yeah, have them relax and then you spread them, pin them all up, and then you have it about maybe two weeks, and uh, it'll dry. If it's not dry correctly and you put it in here, it's gonna be all eaten by insects itself, uh, so we'll have a lot of ants around. It's an insect eat insect it's an world. Exactly. Hey. Yeah, but um, some of these things here are, um, majority of them are from Asia, so we have, um, for example, I've got little sea life. These are little brittle stars, you know, from the Philippine Islands. So these are all in muddy water. So, you know, it's, it's uh, something that we can, we can learn from. But majority of these are actually being used for um, either scientific studies or museums or, you know, a lot of them goes to school. Very neat. And what got you into this? What what kind of drove you to say, I think I'm going to preserve insects now? Well, you know, it, it took a long time. This is my, it's, over, it's been over 10 years. Wow. I started out uh, when I went to school okay. for uh, biology, and I wanted to be a veterinarian. Okay. And obviously, you learn different things, and one after another, you end up having all these. You're ho you know, I'm hoping, you know, people or young kids coming over and saying, wow, that's really nice. And hopefully one day there'll be a biologist, you know. So I've met a lot of uh, people that are now studying to be either marine biologists or, you know, zoology. Yeah. I don't know. Inspiring. And anything. Yeah, anything. Yeah. So it's a good thing. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate you talking to us. Thanks for coming.